Welcome to Sidelines, stories from the Oklahoma Sports Heritage Museum in Guthrie, Oklahoma. This 11-episode series highlights some of the most interesting tales connected to this gem of a museum, celebrating the rich history of professional and collegiate athletics in Oklahoma. Over the next few weeks, we're going to have just a, a series of these episodes so people can learn, like, how rich the history of sports and athletics are in Oklahoma, especially as how these stories relate to uh, the Oklahoma Sports Heritage Museum here in Guthrie. And so, uh, Coach, it's great to talk with you about these things. Uh, something that, um, that uh, I've learned just looking through this list of stories that uh, you're going to share with us, uh, the Phillips 66ers AAU basketball team, AAU basketball is a lot different now than it was back when the Phillips 66ers were playing. It's different from when I was, you know, in high yeah. school to 20 years ago. Uh, but talk to us about uh, the, Ph- the Phillips 66ers uh, and what people can learn about them here at the museum here in town and how I, these guys were a big deal back in the day. Well, AAU basketball started in the 1920s and went to about the 1960s, and that was before the NBA And so it was called AAU uh, Basketball, and the teams were uh, supported by large corporations. Mm -hmm. And they would hire uh, players out of college to come and work for them, and then the guys would play on their team. Did they work for the company? I don't know. Some of them did. (laughs) And some of them, you know, had a career with those companies. But um, starting out, they hired those guys to come on to play. And this was a big commercial thing in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, before the NBA. And um, so This is kind of a way for, like, if guys, you know, finished college or got out of college, they could still play basketball, but there wasn't an NBA or an ABA, that kind of stuff. So this is a way for them to keep on playing, especially if they wanted to have a shot at, you know, playing in the Olympics, that kind of stuff, right? Right. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what it was, and then to get paid to do it. And so we had some good teams here in Oklahoma at Oklahoma A&M, which mm-hmm. is now OSU. Yes, sir. And OU and OBU and um, some of our junior college teams or lower uh, – uh, level teams in college had good players, and when they got through playing college, they were looking for an opportunity to move ahead. The probably the most influential player and the most recognized player was Bob Curlin. He was the first seven foot player in basketball, and he played at OSU first or A and M first. At A&M. Yep. Played for Hank Iba at A and M, and um, they won two national championships for A and M with Iba. Right. I think, and then went on to the Phillips 66. And they won uh, two or three national championships. And they were always in the top of the league. And so we are fortunate at the sports museum in, here in Guthrie to have about six of those uniforms from those players in that for the Phillips 66ers and a set of warm-ups from the, uh, 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 the national championship. Um, I don't know any other place you could go that would, you would see that many uniforms. And uh, we've got some that are white with uh, orange and, and black trim. We've got some that are green and some that are orange, uh, solid orange. And uh, we've been fortunate to be able to round those up and have them on display here. And people come in and they say, what is that? Well, if they're young, if they're younger than you and me, uh, especially me, uh, they may not know what AAU basketball was, but it was comparable to the NBA. And when we started the museum, I got in touch with Bob Curlin, and I said, we want some things of you. Want to he said, I never did play in the NBA. I never did play professionally. And uh, I, I said, well, the AAU was equal to the NBA at that time. And then the NBA, as it developed, uh, you know, um, it's the same way with the display that we have on the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, at first, the Harlem Globetrotters, they were they competed against the a, the AAU and then the, the NBA for, at the early years, and then they began to draft players out of that. And so, uh, Oklahoma was uh, one of the ground 
breaking teams uh, uh, for that. Continental Oil, uh, Goodyear, um, several other big corporations uh, uh, supported these teams and hired these guys uh, to play. It's kind of like advertising for a, a, a big company. They instead of you know doing TVs on or commercials on TV, they would sponsor a basketball team that would travel around and just have their name, uh, you know, Philip Sixty Six's name sure. in front of them, in front of more folks uh, for this you know entertainment of basketball. Yeah, and see, that was even before TV. Mm-hmm. And once TV was developed and began to see a few games on TV, it was a real promotion for those corporations, and so. Um, I, uh, we had one uh, Native American player um, that uh, coached and played both for them. He played at uh, uh, Murray Junior College at first, and then he came to Oklahoma A&M, and then he played with the AAU team. And um, Reddick, uh, Cab Reddick was his name. I, I didn't think of it in a minute. Uh, and so... He was another outstanding, and he went on to play in the Olympics. Quite a few of those players played in the Olympics, and Henry Iba uh, from OSU coached the Olympics part of the time, and Bruce Drake from OU coached the Olympics. And so their players ended up going into the Olympics from the AAU leagues and from the college teams that played. And so that was the beginning of uh, – uh, really high-level competitive basketball in Oklahoma and in the United States. It, it's really like a cool story about how the Phillips 66ers, they dominated basketball. They were a, a national powerhouse. They and, were. Uh, a story that I read uh, when I saw that you want to talk about this, uh, I'm a huge Kentucky Wildcat fan. I'm a, that's Since I was born, my dad raised me to be a Kentucky Wildcat fan. And so all those old uh, Kentucky stories I just I were ingrained into me, and I had no idea until I started reading about this that so in the nineteen what was it 1948 Olympic trials, uh, the Phillips 66ers uh, played against the Kentucky Wildcat team that year um, to be in the Olympics, and the Phillips 66ers beat the Kentucky Wildcat team, which had a ton tons of like you know famous Wildcat players, um, so. Uh, as kind of a compromise, that Olympic team was made up half of the Phillips 66ers and half of the uh, Kentucky Wildcat team. Yep. That became the Olympic team. And uh, Adolf Rupp, the uh, famous, he, he had to be the assistant under the, who, I can't remember who was the Sixers uh, coach at that time. But uh, so one of the greatest you know programs in history, Kentucky Wildcats, they got beat by the Sixers that year and had to be kind of subservient. Like that was, they, they were the kind of the second fiddle to yeah. those, to that Phillips 66 team, which is a pretty incredible story to me. But Adolph Roop uh, was one of the great foundation coaches to, to America basketball. Oh yeah. He absolutely. and Henry Iba and Bruce Drake. A lot of people don't know about Bruce Drake as much, but he's in the uh, hall of fame too. And he had some great teams at OU. And so, but A&M, uh, Kentucky, Louisville uh, were some of the great college teams at that time, and those those players off of those college teams then went to AAU teams to play. Yeah. Um, so come to the museum here in Guthrie, learn more about the Phillips 66ers. Really, if you love the history of basketball, you, you need to know more about uh, this team out of Bartlesville, Oklahoma, who for a long time – was at the, the top of the game for basketball in the United States. They have a museum in Bartlesville, and I think they have one set of uniforms, and we have six. That's pretty cool. And they that display is right across the aisle from our Thunder display. And so you see the beginning and you see the current uh, right there uh, in the museum in our basketball display. That's awesome. So come to the museum, learn more about the Phillips 66ers uh, basketball team out of Bartlesville. Thanks, Coach. You bet. You bet.